Ricky Allen Fowler. I work in P7 here, Force Integration for the Afghan Uniformed Police. I am from Onion, Alabama, originally. During 9-11, I was actually working inside a M1A1 tank turret. I used to work maintenance at the Aston Army Depot, and I actually had somebody come inside the tank, told me one of the Twin Towers had been hit. So, most of the rest of the day was everybody watching the news, seeing what was unfolding. I was reserved, so I knew it was going to change my life, and it has. I spent a lot of time between Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, I worked for the Army four times as a I worked at the Army Depot then, I worked at Redstone Arsenal. A lot of long hours. I spent two tours in Iraq, one tour here, so I've been away from home a lot. I get a lot of pride of going home, going through airports, little kids wanting to talk to me because I'm a soldier. Uh, when you go to buy something, people say you go in a restaurant, somebody pays for your meal. It gives you a lot of pride being a soldier in what we do. I think it increased it a lot for a long time. Um, there's still a lot of pride in the United States towards soldiers, and you can feel that when you go home. When you go in the land airport and everybody's welcoming you home, waving the flags. I think it's increased our professionalism. We're, uh, we're a lot more dedicated to our jobs. Um, we take pride in what we do. You know, I took pride in what I did in Iraq with a drawdown. I'm a logistics officer. Um, here I see where I can do a lot of good. I think we're a lot more focused on what we do. Be it reserve or active duty, we're, we're becoming more professional in everything and um, take a lot of pride in the work. There was one of the guys who worked with me. He was real bad about surfing the whale. And, um, he got called over headquarters after 9-11. The uh, terrorists had actually got his social security number and personal information today. Well, they had bought a ticket in his name aboard one of those planes. There's a lot of people didn't know it, but they actually bought, they uh, bought out all the seats on the plane so they would fuel them up all the way. And then when people didn't show up, there's more fuel when they hit the buildings. 